Saludos, amigos. Greetings, friends. You know what? It is so nice to get away from the homestead. I absolutely love being on our homestead and love the homestead that we are putting together. But it is nice to not be in a place where, well, when I'm at the homestead, each time I go outside, it's, I'm constantly thinking about what I need to do, what I want to do, what I want to change. Whoa, it's like, ah, I can't stop thinking. This needs to be harvested. This needs to be pulled <laughs> out. This bed needs to be turned over. This is dead, needs to go. Got, all those things. And all these projects that I just want to do, just whoo, the mind just doesn't stop thinking. But now that we're here in Costa Rica, it's kind of like, oh man, I can actually just enjoy and stop thinking about what I need to do. What do we need to do first thing in the morning? Oh, that's right. Go eat breakfast. Then I don't have to cook. Wow, that's awesome. And to go in right to the window and just look right outside and see the jungle, it is pretty amazing. It is. It really is. And while we're here, we're enjoying this beautiful atmosphere. But we're also using this as a time to, to learn, especially with our kids homeschooling. We're trying to provide educational materials. It's, it's one thing to read about an area in a book, but it's another thing to go to an area and immerse yourself in the environment and learn that way. There's so many things that they can learn just being out in this environment. Yeah, and Sayla and Josiah, they really love animals. And I mean, we watch all the nature shows and whenever we talk about coming to Costa Rica, uh, you know, we told them like, you know, you could probably see a sloth and a toucan and monkeys and all these different animals that they're interested in that they've seen on TV and hopefully they'll get to see them here in real life. And this morning, Sale and I went outside right away because we were super eager to see what it is and explore what Costa Rica has to offer. And Sale, my little sidekick who just loves the beach, was totally looking forward to getting out and playing in the sand on the beach and she did just that. making down here? A hole. A hole? What kind of hole? Uh, a sand hole. A sand hole. You gonna collect something there? Maybe. Maybe. And as we were on the beach and we were walking down the beach, walked over this, this tree trunk that looked like a T-Rex skull, and a little bit further down on the beach, we ran to our good friend, Argus. Bang. We're on our first big adventure out on the beach today, our first time exploring. We're out here with a friend Argus. I don't know if you mind being on camera, Argus. So hey everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so it is really neat here and just seeing the beach, the terrain is just very diverse. Really, really different from what we're seeing back home. There's rock here, there's trees close up to the beach. It is just really, really neat. And Argus said he even saw a snake earlier, so thankfully I didn't see that snake. But uh, it's just really neat. What do you think about it, Sayla? I really like it. It is cool here. And then after we chatted a little bit with Argus, he shot off and ran off and he ran off so quickly I wasn't even able to get him on camera. Argus is a runner and he was back to running doing his morning run on the beach. And Argus is a good friend of ours from the United States. and He's down there with a number of other of our church friends. So it was nice to see him out on the beach in the morning. And uh, it was also really neat. Sail and I would see humpback whales out in the ocean and it was just man it was so cool i had never seen humpback whales in person so we enjoyed our time out on the beach so sorry you guys missed it missed out this time but we got back to the room and we all went out to have breakfast together in the resort restaurant and all the meals at the resort that we're staying at punta leona uh, is all inclusive so all the meals are included buffet style yeah. and let me tell you the food is magnificent. And for breakfast, 
I mean, they had all kinds of stuff, but just the fresh fruit was so good. Pineapples and mangoes and papayas. And I mean, they had eggs and beans and rice and sometimes empanadas and like all these different things. And if you wanted cereal, there was cereal and smoothies and juices. And it was just so good. And it was so nice that I didn't have to do anything. We just went and picked up a plate and got food and sat down and ate. And that was one of the things that I wanted to bless you with this year with this trip is have it since you prepare all the meals for us day in and day out. I just wanted to bless you in that way and have it where you didn't have to worry about making any meals during this trip. So uh, I'm glad that you were able to, to have that now. Me too. <laughs> Thank you so much. And another thing about the restaurant is they have this, this grill. I think guess that's what you call it, a flat grill, a grill. where they were making omelets. And oh, I was yeah, noticing I the eggs that they were they used and looked just like our eggs. They had the nice orange yellow color. It looked those eggs look really good. So Sailor and I were getting some omelets this morning. And then we sat down for breakfast and we had an uninvited guest come and join yeah, us. It was it was <laughs> a little scary. <laughs> Who's that, Josiah? It's my friend. Is that Timio? He's a little shy. Oh, okay, He's just hanging out, looking to see what he can find. Yeah, because the area that we're eating breakfast and, and the meals in is netted off, but somehow this animal came inside our area, and we were like. Uh, is this supposed to be happening? <laughs> and uh, the servers were like, oh no, he's okay. His name's Tonio. I was like, whoa, he even has a name. And Tonio is a Kudamandi. Yeah, you heard him right, a Kudamandi. <laughs> <laughs> so after we had our breakfast, along with Tonio joining us, yeah. next we were just right outside the restaurant and there were monkeys all over the place. So a number of us were outside trying to get pictures with these monkeys and video and I was holding up my phone trying to get a picture or video, I can't remember what it was at the time, and then this monkey just reached and grabs my camera. Wow, this is totally a neat experience and seeing how the monkeys are just hanging around here. For us, it's like seeing squirrels or something, but the monkeys are quite normal for around here. But this is pretty cool, definitely different for us. But uh, I like it. They're very, very cool. Is it cute? to the monkey. You did? Do it again. See if it'll do it again. Stay back, Micah. Oh man, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Josiah gave a handshake. Josiah was like, "Oh, the monkey! It it shook my hand." I was like, "Okay, let." <laughs> Will it shake it again? It did. <laughs> it was, they were really cool. They were capuchin monkeys and uh, there was even a mom with a baby on her back and uh, so they just came and the people were feeding them bread which is probably not in their typical diet. Yeah. But um, We weren't feeding them bread. No, but also uh, fruit too and I set my coffee down and, and I think Sayla said one of them like tried to get in my coffee so I made sure I poured that out. And Sayla was reaching out and grabbing the monkey and I actually thought that the monkey had bit her hand but she said it licked her or put her nose on it or something like that? It was smelling her hand. Oh that's what that's it was. That's what it was. <laughs> what do you think about the monkey? No, they be catching me. He's like, you don't have anything. This place is just absolutely amazing. All the wildlife that are here in this beautiful jungle atmosphere. The humpback whales, the 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 kudamandi, <laughs> the monkeys, and there's also macaws that fly over and you can see them in the trees, but when they fly over, you sound, you, I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park yeah. or something, the Reminded noise it makes. Reminded us of Greg. Yeah, it's like pteranodons just flying right over <laughs> my head. 
And then we were walking down the sidewalk and Armadillo just runs right in front of us. It's like, man, what kind of place is this? It just yeah. all this wildlife just just comes to us. Right there. Oh, and, and this iguana that we saw. We had Two lunch iguanas. there. And there was this iguana right by the pool. And the iguana was walking along the pool. And then it just ran up a tree. It's like it doesn't look like an iguana could even run up a tree. It didn't look like it was putting forth any effort at all, more than just walking just on the ground. It was right just like, tree. I'm going to climb this tree. It's like, see you later. How does that happen? <laughs> and then after all that, since the family didn't get to go out onto the beach with Sail and I, we took the whole family out on the beach. The weather still wasn't that great. It was still really, really cloudy and overcast. And uh, it was also really windy, but we went to the beach. And uh, we were having a good old time at the beach. And yeah. uh, it's been quite a while since we've been at the beach together. So it was nice to get out and just play yeah. together. Micah had never really played in the water before. The first time he ever went to the beach was last month when we were in California. So what do you guys think of the beach? Whoa. What about you, Josiah? What do you think about this? Wow. <laughs> what do you think there? It's nice? Nice. <laughs> nice. Mike, are you gonna get in the ocean for the first time? I brought my drone along, so I've really been itching to fly at the drone. Even though it was windy, I was like, I really want to get some footage of this place. So, took the drone up, and man, it was pretty hard to control it. I did get some footage, not the best, but I did. I was able to capture this. So I brought the drone down and hopefully I can get some better footage in the next couple of days. But I went to the bathroom after that and as I was coming back from the bathroom, there was a problem. I saw you run and I was like, I was what running in up, the world? I was running up the beach and dragging three kids behind me and he thought something was wrong. What just happened? What just happened? The raccoon stole your Laura bar out of our snack bag. Oh man, as soon as I leave. I was somewhat nervous that something might steal something. I was thinking it would be a monkey because we heard that monkeys will steal some of your things if you're not careful around here, but I didn't know a raccoon was going to steal it. Oh man, at least it was a Laura bar and nothing major. I do have a lot of our main things in the drone case, so there's no way the monkey is a raccoon is going to be able to lift up the drone case. Not to be a gorilla to do that. Eat my lar bar, that little sucker right there. Did you see it happen, Josiah? Yeah! Man. <laughs> you know what? That was my last cashew lar bar. Man, I really like those bars. When you need a snack on the go, I like that one. Bomber! That's crazy. That mean old raccoon! <laughs> You're like, he's back again. What else do you have for me? The Black Mass Bandit. <laughs> you like that, Micah? 
I used to do that with Dana when she was at You remember that, Dana? So I can't believe that raccoon took my last Lara bar. Man, my last one. So the wildlife here is just crazy. It's right up in your Man. face. So the raccoons, which we have raccoons back home in North Carolina, but the raccoons here look slightly different. They're a little thinner and they're a little more hutchback. And they're totally not afraid to come get your stuff like no like malara bar no so we're we gonna be watching out for these raccoons and, yeah they're like um, bandits for sure i was down at the water and i'm like there's a raccoon stealing our food man so we packed everything up and like all right we're going to the pool and yeah. we haven't been in the pool together in, i don't know how long it's been since i've been in the pool a couple years maybe mm. so it was nice to be able to go out and enjoy the pool together as a family yeah See if we can get in right here, okay? Get in. You cold? Good, a little cold. Sailor, you can build those leg muscles. Come on. I already ran over here. <laughs> we are totally enjoying it here in Costa Rica so far. And the resort that we're at, the Punta Leona, is so nice. It is. The customer service is great. The atmosphere is great. There's so many things that I want to do around here. It is just really, really exciting. And there's just so much here to do between the pools and the beaches and the restaurants you can eat in and all the activities they have for kids or adults on, you know, hikes and different things like that. There, you, you really have like lots of choices on things to do. I don't think we're going to be able to get it all in because we have a lot planned here. Because next we're going to be going to a permaculture sustainable farm that grows coffee sustainably. So we're pretty excited about that because we're really trying to wrap some education in at the same time and get some inspiration from other people who are doing great things in homesteading and agriculture at the same time but just taking in this beautiful, beautiful country with some pretty amazing wildlife. Yes. So make sure you stay tuned for more of our videos here in Costa Rica. That's it for now. So we'll see you next time. Adios. Hasta, Hasta luego. luego. <laughs>